What is going on, guys? I'm Centraxion, and this is Ark Ragnarok. So, today is going to be a building episode. But this time it's not going to be sped up, because it's just a small build here. What I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be making a greenhouse. And this is probably going to be together with the, like, bee-ish area thing. I don't know what you would call that. Like the beehive thing area building because that's important too. And they're both just short builds because they don't need huge builds. I actually didn't craft one of the things I needed, darn it. Good thing there's a metal node right there that I can get some stone from. Cause we're gonna need to make some of the, ooh, that's another level, nice. We're level 80 now. That's a pretty high level. And we obviously can't use that last spot up there because that's sort of where we're going to be putting the industrial cooking pot when we get it. This is just a small greenhouse because we're going to be needing to make a kibble farm, which will be coming up soon because I want to tame a griffin. But there's no way we're going to be able to do that without the, what is it, extraordinary kibble. Although, I can get the wyvern eggs for that, and I already have a ton of wyvern eggs I can use for that. Because I've just been out collecting tons of wyvern eggs. I don't know why I was, but I was bored before, so I just decided to go gather a ton of wyvern eggs. Because it was exciting. I even found a really high level, what was it, lightning? No, I think it was actually fire wyvern. But yeah, I found a really high level egg. That looks pretty good. And... Now we actually need ceilings, and we're gonna be hatching that up soon, to be honest. Because we need a better wyvern than ours. The last video I showed how, wa oh, crap, how you can use wyverns to get really easy cement and paste, and what was the other thing, clay? Yeah. So that's basically the whole build for this. That's not much. We actually need to make stairs here. Crap, I don't have enough. Actually, I might have stairs. No, I'll, I'll get those after. So what I first need to actually do is craft a vertical pipe. Because I forgot to do that. Now that we have a vertical pipe, we can place that right there. Because we need to have a way to get, what is it, water? That's what it's called. We need to have a way to get water in here. Okay, so just like that. And then basically, this looks gonna look really weird because the whole greenhouse is just gonna have bees over top of it. That one's really sticking out. Actually, I don't think I want that one there. Ah. Pick that up. We'll just put one on the end of that because I don't want it sticking out that much. That's fine there. Then we gotta do a second row here. A little bit sticking out, but it's not horrible. So, nothing we can do about that because we need to have some sort of thing there. Then we gotta put these taps on. This way the water will easily be irrigated to every plant. I hope that it doesn't overwhelm the wishing, wishing well. I almost called it a wishing well. It doesn't overwhelm the water well thing. I called it a wishing well a second ago. Uh, why would you call it that? I don't know why I called it a wishing well. Anyways, it's a water well. So I guess I'll see you guys when I have all that stuff grinded out. Guys, so I'm back. I got the crop plots, and I also crafted some compost bins, and I also have seeds now. So we can get all the things we need. I also gathered some poop. It was not that hard, because all my creatures were, like, pooping all the time. Okay, so it's irrigated. That's good. It's going to need to slowly fill with water, I'm pretty sure, though. Why do I keep doing that? They're already on my hotbar. Get that right. That looks good. And people wonder why I... So if, actually, if you do wonder why I speed up my building videos, this is in the wrong spot. That's not looking good. This is exactly the reason. Plus 
base. They would take forever. Imagine how long this took me to do that whole base. Those speed up building videos actually take a lot of time to edit. So they're probably the ones of my videos that take the longest to edit. This is just a small build though, so I'm not doing a speed build for it because there's not really any point. There we go. Okay, I just deposited some medium animal feces. I did not want to do that. So on this side, we're gonna have the rocker rut. And here we're gonna have the saver root. These are the ones that we can actually get from what's it called? The vegetables that we can just like pick up. So that's not as important. Then we're gonna put the other two on the other side, which is the long grass and the satornal lemon things. Do I actually have any more thatch here? Cause I just realized I need thatch to make the compost bins work. Why did I keep going in there? So I actually made some compost bins. We are going to get a dung beetle in this episode. Oh, that looks stinky. I thought that there was only bugs around those when there was stuff in it. Anyways, now we gotta put the poop in there. Thatch as well. Okay, so we only have enough to have one run for now. Maybe we can put more poop away though, because we aren't gonna need all of this medium animal feces to tame that dung beetle. It's. I also found it's really strange how, what's it called, the wyvern? It makes medium poop, it doesn't make large poop. But whatever now i'm gonna go find a dung beetle and why did i just fly inside my base who knows i also have a level on this guy luckily we can find dung beetles really close to here just like right down there there's dung beetles all over this place right down where the megalania and the mantis all live I did see a really cool colored one, but I don't really care. I do want a high level one though, because there's a problem with dung beetles. What is it called? Their weight, it's really bad. The first dung beetle I ever tamed had six weight. It held like two medium animal feces. So I couldn't just leave it on wander all the time, gathering fertilizer from that, because I would have to literally be standing there and refilling it like so quickly. So I want a high level one because I don't want to have to do that when I want fertilizer. That's a spider. We don't want its webs on us. So that'll slow us down. Oh, I just seen a dung beetle. Let's actually quickly grab that guy. Crap, I missed. Okay, so we're just gonna try and grab him. What? How did I miss it that time? Oh, I used the mouse grab. Oh, it's a max level! Nice! First one we find is a max level. Okay, now I'm completely turned around. That's where we wanna go, okay. So max level dung beetle, let's actually put the poop in our last slot first. We tame these guys with poop. Large animal feces is the best, but I have no creatures that create that so far. So yeah, brontos, diplos, actually I think diplos too. They might be medium now that I think of it. Um, some creatures apparently even make massive animal feces. I don't know what creatures do that. I thought it was wyverns. Wyverns don't though. They make medium animal feces, so. I don't think that you can feed massive animal feces to the dung beetle though, so it would not help at all anyways. 
Ooh, I hope the dung beetle fit. Oh no, it's a double door, good. Maybe there should be like a list that has like double door creatures. I don't think that's a thing yet. 44% tamed, that's not bad. We're only gonna need three of these. Have you produced any fertilizer yet? No. Okay, those I think take like half an hour. At least that's how long it took in mobile. They should have that thing like mobile where they have like that bar that like tells you how long it takes. Cause in mobile when the greenhouse thinks, yes! Stop them, passive. Let's see, what's your weight stat? Seven point nine. I definitely don't feel like this was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. No, it wasn't. I'm just kidding. But dung beetles, their weight sucks. I think they have the lowest weight of any creature in the game. Dodos are pretty high up there too, I think. Oh, I remember, actually, I remember in mobile I had a really high level dodo. It actually had really decent weight. I tamed it at like 150. Aw, oh, crap, I put rare flowers in there instead of poop. Okay, so yeah. Oh, we can pick this guy up. Hopefully he fits though. It looks really weird having the dung beetle like this. Please fit. Yes, it fits. Why can't I? There we go. No, don't go there. Let's just drop him down there, whatever. Close enough to outside. Stay in. So yeah, basically you have to put these guys on wander for them to produce anything. So now he'll wander around in there. He'll turn that poop into fertilizer and also into oil. So I guess this is really gonna be it. This is actually longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh wow, that is a very slow dung beetle. Hey guys, I'm back. So I just got all the resources I needed to make the beehive area thing. So the plan I'm going to be going with, I think I should probably put it over this way more. Will it fit there? Probably not. So let's put it right here. This looks like a good spot. Uh, a little bit over there we go. That looks good. How far are we from there? We're pretty, wait, no, this is not the best. Let's actually go up on our RG and see how big the area is where we should put the center. Let's see. You should have the center right there. So the center needs to be where the RG's foot is. So we should just go like this. Then we know where the center is. That works. Okay, now that we have the center area built, we can move our Argentavis out of the way. Because now we can put the next area around, which is, I guess, like a triangle area. Please tell me I can put it on the end there. Okay, good, I can put a triangle there. This looks good, actually. Start like that, going out like that. Wait, did that go in the right spot? Yes, okay. So now we can just go like that. That works. Perfect. And it looks even cool when it's in the ground like that. Oh, I missed these sides. Okay, now that we have those on, I'm completely confused as to where the center of it is. Okay, this seems to be the center, right? No. Oh, this is bad. The 
plan was to remove the center, but it seems to have turned into the fact that there is no center anymore. This seems to be the center, so I'm just gonna demo this. This little ring here. Since the beehives have to actually be placed on the ground, which is really annoying, because you can't just put them in your base. So now that we have the center taken out, we gotta make sure that we have all the other sides correct. Okay, looks like we do. Does it? Yes. That side's all right, these sides are all right. Whoa, that can actually go far down a lot. Oh, that's because the triangle ones come from like the S plus thing. So they can like go down like all the way. Like so much farther than the regular ones. So now I gotta go grab the beehives from the base. And then we can place those down and then we just need to build all the walls and stuff. Beehives are right here, right? Yes, there they are. And I also need to eat, great. Oh well, we have some rare flowers that I can eat. There's nothing up here that's gonna attack me. So now we just gotta go back to where we built this. And we just gotta put the beehives there. And then this section will be complete. Well, we still need like, what's it called? The walls and the roof, but you know mostly complete. Is that a good spot? Yes. Okay. So hopefully we can get the beehives more in here after. We're probably going to have about five in this place. That one actually doesn't look like it's in a good spot. And I can't pick it up, so whatever. I do not know what happens when you demo a beehive. Maybe you get the bee back, maybe you don't. Who knows? But I don't want to chance it, so. That's the beehives. Wait, I have ghillie on, do I not? Oh, I don't have a ghillie mask on, darn it. I'm just trying to give you guys flowers. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die now, no. Oh! Five health left. So I guess I'll be back when I have all the walls and the ceilings ready to be put up. So see you then. Hey guys, so I'm back and I got all of the walls and all the ceilings we need now. So we can finally finish this thing. Let's get all these walls in here first of all. I was contemplating using windows, but I decided not to use windows. So we're no longer using windows. That floor looks really cool. It's really tall too. I didn't realize the floors could be that tall, but they can, so that's really awesome. Because other words, we would have to use ceilings and I hate ceilings. That sounds really weird, I hate ceilings. <laughs> no, I just hate when you have to use them as foundations because it just makes it all out of line and it makes it look weird. Ah, oh, did I make one, two less walls? Ah, oh, that would suck. Nope, I made a good amount, okay. I thought for a second there that I was missing one wall, but I'm not, so it's all good. These are my beehives. And we just gotta go around first and build bees. I don't know if I should put the ceiling over the beehive area, like the main middle part, but I probably will. I can always take it down if it doesn't look right. Well, we can actually see what it looks like both times. First we do that. It's like a skylight, but what if we put these on? Ah, crap. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So I think the wooden roof looks much better. I'm not gonna make a, like, a pointy ceiling on this, I guess that's what we call it. I'm not gonna make a triangular ceiling on this. It's just gonna be flat on the top because, yeah, just cause I can. 
Yeah. So this is the beehive area now. And next episode, we're probably going to be taming dinos to make a kibble farm. Because if we go in here now, we can see that our savor root's starting to grow. And our rocker rut's starting to go. Wait, does the rocker rut have double the amount? No, it just has two more. These should even have more in them. Yeah, eight thetoronal actually only, really? And nine long grass. Also, this guy probably has more fertilizer for us. Yes, he does. He also is starting to make a bit of oil, but we're just gonna leave that in there for now. And his weight goes up by more than I thought it would. Look at the fertilizer there. I also need to grab some more poop for that guy to eat. Is this medium? Yep. So, now we just have to grab a ton of poop to feed to a dung beetle. Does that make sense? These horses poop a lot. Apparently I do too. <laughs> oh well. So first thing we need to do is actually put it in the dung beetle. He still can't hold a ton of it. Maybe if we take the oil from him, then we can give this to him. Yes, we can. Okay. Wait, shouldn't he be able to carry the oil as well? Apparently not. Anyways, now we just gotta deposit the rest of this in here. That's all of it. And that's basically that place. And I'm gonna need to go gather rare flowers to give to my beehive, because only this one and this one have rare, any rare flowers in it. So that's those two builds. And also the dung beetle tame. If you liked this episode, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Centraxion.